Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my current skincare routine because this has been changing so much because my skin's been a nightmare. But, whoa, did you hear that fun sound effect? Um, this is what I'm currently doing and I've only been doing it for like a couple days, but I'm going to do this for a while and just in these couple days that I've been doing it, my skin has already seemed to improve or at least the redness has gone down, so I'm excited to share this with you guys. Subscribe, turn my notification bell on, give this video a like and share it with your friends because I'm in a bathroom full of lights and camera equipment and I'm so close to being electrocuted, so let's just all take a moment to pray that it doesn't happen. <laughs> and as I always state, I'm not a dermatologist or an esthetician. My channel is solely here to educate you guys based on the research I have done. So if you have any questions about your skin or your skincare products, make sure you're consulting a professional. Here's a close-up on my skin. I don't have any makeup on right now. I just have the tinted sunscreen from CeraVe, and my skin gets less red throughout the day. But my biggest concerns are these like acne scars, these like huge pimples I get. And right now there's not that many like active pimples, but my skin gets so red when I do my skincare. That doesn't mean these products are bad, it's just how my skin is. So yeah, let's get into it. First, I'm gonna be going in with my Living Cleansing Balm from Then I Met You. I either use this or cleansing oil. I literally just ran out of my cleansing oil yesterday. So now I'm going in with this and I put way too much. You don't need this much. I'll use this much if I'm wearing like heavy makeup or something but today I'm literally just wearing sunscreen, so. Of course, I'm gonna talk about skincare products, but I want this video to be more of like a chit-chat, so let's chit-chat. So recently, I went to the dermatologist and I got some new medicine to like take like orally, and then I also got a higher prescription of one of the topical treatments I was using, so make sure you stay till the end to know what I'm talking about. I was kind of wanting to go on Accutane, but also like the side effects are really strong, so I'm happy we're trying everything else first, and I've been eating healthier this week, which has definitely helped with like inflammation, and stuff because I ate so bad last week. Oh. That was the most ugly face I've ever made. But yeah, um, in all my videos I've been wearing makeup because I have this like crazy thing that I'm like, if I have bad skin, will people watch my videos? And it's definitely just like an insecurity. <laughs> like it doesn't have, if I keep looking over there, there's a mirror. But I just like get insecure because I'm like, what if I say like this works for pimples and they're like, oh, you have pimples, so it probably doesn't work for pimple. Whoa. I literally cannot speak. <laughs> You have pimples, so that product probably doesn't work, but literally my like acne is genetic. So I promise if I'm recommending you guys something, <laughs> it's because it's worked for me, even if it hasn't cured my acne, it's like worked, you know? I don't know about you, but I've literally like, ever since I was little, not little, but like ever since I started doing skincare or makeup, I would always do these kind of videos, but like in my room. So I just stand in the mirror and be like, hey guys. But yeah, now that I have a YouTube channel, it's like for real. And also we're gonna have to just agree that we're gonna all ignore my hair cause <laughs> it's disgusting. Next, I'm gonna be going in with my CeraVe Acne Foaming Cream Cleanser. This has 4% benzoyl peroxide, so it's antibacterial. And I've actually really been enjoying this because it has those ceramides that are really, really hydrating. It also has niacinamide, which is literally like the best for like getting rid of redness, inflammation, dark spots, and just everything. And I tried the CeraVe SA Renewing Cleanser that has salicylic acid. And that really, really irritated my skin. Every single time I used it, it was really, really red on me. Like my skin turned really, really red. And for a lot of people, that cleanser is like a holy grail. I'm not denying how, sorry, I look crazy. I'm not denying how good the product is. It just didn't work for me. And this is the one that the dermatologist said she wanted me to use. She said she didn't want me to use benzoyl peroxide. Benzoyl peroxide can really, really dry out, but for me, it just didn't. So I'm glad that literally I look like Jack Frost. Am I incorrect? Because I know I'm not. Honestly, please comment down below if you wash your face in the shower or if you don't do it in the shower. I always wash my face in the shower, like the oil cleanser and this cleanser. Like either if I'm in a bath, I do it in the bath. If I'm in the shower, I do it in the shower. I never do it out of it because it's so, like it's such like a, not a good experience, you know? Like it's just weird. I'm actually gonna be going into the mask. I don't always use a mask, but today I thought let's use a mask. This is from I'm From. It is 2.1% mugwort, which is really, really soothing. We're just going in with that. Oh, that's so fun. This mask smells so good. Like I love the ingredients in here and my brush is really soothing to irritation. Okay, so I'm gonna literally leave this on for 15 minutes and then I'll come back. So, should we do a TikTok transition? I'm back and it hasn't been 15 minutes or 10 minutes, which is actually how long I'm gonna leave it on for. But I decided that I was too eager to talk because I can never stop talking and then I wanted to rant. So let me um, set the table here. A couple days ago, I was just going through my phone and I went to the school reading list and I was like, oh, I need to get like a book 
so I can read. School starts in like basically a month and like a half. So I'm gonna start my book. <laughs> I read the fine print. You have to choose one book from this list and then two books from the other list. I now have 990 pages to read in a month and a half. And a lot of people haven't even started thinking about their books. So I'm struggling. So imagine how they're struggling and the books aren't good. The one book I started isn't good, so maybe I'll change it, but I can't speak on all the books because there was a long list. But I just thought I'd share that I cannot believe school starts in a month and a half because I feel like summer just started. Like, what is this? Like, am I the only one? Please comment down below. Doesn't it feel like summer literally started yesterday? Like, usually summers go by so slow. Now it's literally June, July 3rd. Like, what is this? You know, I just thought I'd share. I think this mask is ready to be taken off. I'm over it, it's over it. Oh, also, little self promo, use code Lucas Pedroso for 5% off your guest style orders. Go get yourself one of these masks. My mom actually got one of these too and she liked it, I liked it, I've been using it a lot. Also, the rice toner is so good. Their honey mask, ugh, is one of my favorites. So, yeah, use code Lucas Pedroso for 5% off your guest style orders. That's a fun little promo. This is so good. If y'all don't like coconut water, like the first sip tastes like dirt and then the more you drink it, you're just like, ugh. I, I said I was gonna wash this mask off. I'm literally going crazy, what is happening? So now I'm gonna go in with my Curology Super Bottle. Literally, I used Curology for over a year and it worked so well for me, but then I decided I was over it because I wanted to do more steps. So I stopped doing Curology and my skin got worse, so now we're back. And now I'm doing the whole Curology routine. I use their, what is it? I use their cleanser in the morning. And I'm pretty sure it's like $60 for two months for the entire thing. And I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to get a free trial. So this isn't sponsored or an ad at all. I literally wish. Curology, if you're watching this girl, my business email is down below. But <laughs> I literally have been in love with their products. And I'm so excited to be doing their full routine. And it just all feels so good. And the ingredients are amazing. So next up, I'm going to go into their moisturizer. This is the light one. They have a rich one too. I might get the rich one soon. But I'm trying out the light one for this month. And I really, really like the formula. The only issue is I kind of have to use a lot of it. I use like that much, that might be a little too much, but that's kind of like the amount I use. And then I don't always do this, but if I'm dry, I will mix in literally, oh, one, two, two drops of the Ordinary Rosehip Oil. Ah, oh, this moisturizer feels so good. And it's literally $30, I mean it's 60 for two months, so 30 for one month for three products, so it's like $10 per product, like that's such a good price. Okay, next up I'm going in with my Tretinoin 0.05%. This is prescription, I used to use 0.025, but we doubled my percentage. And some nights I'll use this before my moisturizer, but today I'm going within it after, just cause I got a little dryness this morning. And going with this on top of the moisturizer makes it like more diluted so it doesn't like hit as hard. My skin is a little sensitive right now so I just gotta be careful because it's already turning red and I don't want it to look crazy tomorrow morning. So I'm just gonna pat this in. And this is prescription as I said eight times so you have to get this from a dermatologist. Let me introduce to you one of my new besties. This is the CauseRx Blemish Cream. This is Centel Asiatic and Tea Tree and it's like an area treatment but I'm kind of using it as like a spot treatment, but I kind of put it on everywhere that's red and then I just rub it in. And for spot treatments, actually, I mess this up a lot, but you guys give your skin a break. Don't use a spot treatment every night. Pimple patches you can use every night because they're really, really good. But even something like this, it's better to just let your skin breathe sometimes. So don't always use it. And then also I want to mention some pimple patches that I use all the time. My favorite ones are from CauseRx. These are so cheap. I think these are like $3.90 for 24, of course it's linked down below. And then I also love the Starface ones. These are really just for Instagram. They do the same exact thing, they're just more expensive, but they're so cute and it comes in this little plastic thing. So you buy like renewal packs, I guess, and it comes in all paper. And then the only plastic part is this little thing, but this you only have to buy once. It also has a little mirror, so for like on the go. <gasps> That was so loud. I feel like I was like closing a flip though. Whoa. Another spot treatment I use is the Kate Somerville. You can use the Mario Badescu one, but here's a quick little, let's zoom in. Skincare lesson of the video because I feel like I've just been ranting. But for these kind of spot treatments, you need to put it on a pimple that has a white head because if it doesn't have a white head, it's not doing much for you. It's just drying the top surface because as sulfur, sulfur dries out like the surface of your skin. And doing that actually makes it harder for the pimple to like escape. So make sure you're not doing that. Only put it if it has a white head or if you popped it, which you shouldn't be doing, but if you do pop it, you can put some of this on there to really just suck out the oils. And then lastly, I just go in with my CeraVe healing ointment. I literally put this wherever I'm dry. Sometimes I get dry around my mouth, so I'll put it there. This is literally just petrolatum, so it doesn't hydrate your skin. It just makes a protective barrier. And actually, a place that I like to put it is on my eyelids because they can get really, really dry. There we go. And actually, I'm going to just get a little bit of this. Literally, do you see how tiny bit I'm using? 
And I'm just gonna tap it here. And this doesn't make me break out. If I put it all over my face, of course I break out. But around my mouth, it really just protects it. And I use the tiniest bit. This has ceramides also, so it's just CeraVe, so it's so good. But yeah, I think that's it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you are following me on all my social media. It's at I'm Lucas Pedroso on literally everything. Send me a DM on Instagram if you just want to talk. And on my Instagram is where I update you guys the most about like skincare products I'm currently using on my stories. So make sure you are following me on there. And as I mentioned in every video, I'm trying to make more skincare content on TikTok, so make sure you are following me on there so I can make more videos for you guys. Here's the last close-up of my skin. It's not perfect. Nobody's is, but that's not what matters. If your skin is glowy and hydrated, that means it's healthy even if it has pimples. I love you guys, and thank you to everybody that like supports me, likes the video, comments. I really do appreciate it, and it means the absolute world to me. Bye!